designer drug trend, if you will, what they are, how to keep them out of your house. Dr. David Larimer from Scottsdale Recovery Center. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. This is alarming because you'll probably find cocoa powder in, what, eight out of ten pantries? Or Absolutely. Cupboards, cabinets, what have you. Uh, what's happening? It's a trend. Um, it, it was popular in Europe, and now it's being marketed here in the country. They, they include natural energy um, supplements like ginkgo biloba, taurine, and uh, guanaria. And so it, it offers a euphoric feeling an energy boost for about 30 minutes and it doesn't have the, the drop that the sugar does. All right, let's talk about why this is so dangerous, what it potentially does to the body, why kids should not be snorting cocoa powder. Well, first of all, it's not a, it's not a substance that ought to be snorted. Secondly, the FDA hasn't even made a ruling on it. Unfortunately, these kind of trends, what happens is the, the alleged positive effects are are spread more rapidly and informally than the adverse consequences. The adverse consequences take time. It's a more formal process. And so it's a trend that we don't know. So do we know anything about the consequences yet? Right now, what we've heard is that it creates a euphoric feeling with an energy boost that lasts okay. about 30 minutes with, without the drop that sugar What causes. about negative consequences, though? I mean, what can it do to your health? Well, it can cause suffocation. OK. Let's talk a little bit about that because during the commercial break we were talking about the cinnamon trend Correct. and so that is when people, largely teens, would swallow a tablespoon of cinnamon Correct. for the same reason, a lot of them suffocating. Right. So what happens when you're snorting co cocoa powder? Anytime you snort a substance it goes directly to the brain. It's actually a, a quicker delivery system than, than IV drug use. So the potential for heart palpitations, okay. Uh, high blood pressure, those kinds of things. What should parents be looking for? I know this is such a new trend that it's, we haven't had a lot of research on it. What type of signs and symptoms that something is going on? First and foremost, you, you want to monitor your children's behavior. Okay. You want to understand what their normal patterns are. Unfortunately, some of the, some of the behavior patterns that you will see with drug abuse is also natural of adolescence, isolation, lying, manipulation. Um, they're not sleeping, they're not eating, okay. their, their grades are going down, they lost a job. And looking for paraphernalia. You need to be monitoring your children's rooms. Okay. Really, really quickly, because we want to throw in top designer drugs, uh, what else should parents be looking for, if not the natural substances around the house? Vaping is still pr very okay. popular. There, there's a synthetic um, marijuana out now that they use for vaping. Smoking alcohol has been around for the last couple of years. Okay. And the old standbys, GHB, ketamine, MDMA, those kinds of things. And how do people find you? Uh, we are in Scottsdale. We are in 10446 North 74th Street, which is cross streets of Scottsdale Road in Shea, and we are 800 numbers 888, no drugs. All right, thanks so much. We'll be right back. Great information.